Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 17th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at imagery of our sun. Still lots of plasma activity, no major solar flares, but we did have a couple CMEs shot out towards us. As we were looking at the Southern Hemisphere plasma whip that left the surface, and then watching in the Northern Hemisphere, which is the right-hand side, this is incoming imagery. Watch for another large plasma filament to rip away in the last few images right there. And that did cre uh, create two coronal mass ejections in an Earth direction fashion. Having a look at the last 48 hours outgoing, we do have two sunspots outgoing. Nothing major to talk about there. But lots of activity on the back side of the sun, and you can see it here. Looking at the last 48 hours, multi spectrum, large plasma filament tornado, northwest region. We also have a few small coronal holes developing, northern hemisphere and equatorial regions. Another light here, 171 angstroms. This is where you can really see the activity from the backside of the sun as those sunspot regions produce the umbral field, especially through the northern parts and southern earth facing. Right now we have two sunspots, one turning away and one cresting in southern hemisphere. Current space weather conditions, there are none to report. Solar winds are coming in at 414 kilometers per second right now. Solar X-ray flux remains in a heightened sea range. No major solar flares to speak of. Moderate sea class. Yesterday, proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity is low until November 24th, 25th. But looking here at the ISPWA space prediction spiral showing most recent CME, northern region of our sun taking off towards Parker Solar Probe. But as you can see on the right hand side, we do have some activity incoming for the 25th. And that is visible here with the Space Weather Prediction Center showing a double shot CME heading towards Earth, which is the green circle. And that's all the space weather coming our way. Expected arrival 21st of November. Looking at LASCO 3, this is where we saw the large CME, Northern Hemisphere, and then the double shot Earth facing CME. But in a Southern, in the Southern Hemisphere region, but still projected our way, we'll see if we be, uh, get affected by it. Uh, what, November 21st into the 22nd. This is the last two days of imagery. Just some amazing images, always from Lasco 2 here, showing our sun's fury firing away. Now let's get to earthquakes, as we did have a large earthquake to report early this morning. 6.7 in Burias, Philippines at a 77-kilometer depth. Large earthquake, as forecasted here with daily events worldwide, popped off in the Philly. Oh, sorry, in the Philippines... Vanuatu seeing the deepest earthquake today, 130 kilometer depth. Not very deep at all. Pretty quiet for deep activity today. But notable here, 5.7 earthquake. Myanmar, in Tonga, Myanmar, 5.7 large earthquake. I'm sure many people were affected by that. As well, notable earthquake here, 4.5 in Orkney, South Africa, 10 kilometer depth. 4.1 earthquake there, Greece. Pretty quiet, still under 200 earthquakes. Even when we saw that big one, the numbers are still low. 4.5 there, Chile, and southward of 4.2. Quiet through the Caribbean plate. It's just way too darn quiet here, and I'll say it again. Stay aware, prepared, and be ready, folks. Juan de Fuca plate has been way too quiet as of late, and we just saw 3.1 northwards there in Washington. Notable activity here, Chiniac, Alaska, 4.2 and a 4.4. And as well, Hawaii, 
southeast of the Kilauea volcano reporting a 3.2 earthquake. And that's the last 24 hours. As I said, under 200 and nothing major to report in Iceland since the earthquake event started a couple weeks ago. No eruption. Having a look here at the last seven days for shakers around the world, largest being the 6.7 that occurred today in the Philippines. No tsunami with that large earthquake, but the center point to all those deep earthquakes that we've seen the last couple days, as noted out in last night's video and the night prior, earthquakes can be forecasted. Just saying. And welcome all to Daily Events Worldwide. Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery from around the world and as well the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. As we have Reventador in Ecuador. That 6.7 there, Philippines. 7 Kaya in Peru. Not many volcanoes getting updated today at all. Popo Pacatito in Mexico. I was watching a live stream earlier of that. Lots of eruptions early this morning. And yeah, not much else to report. Only about four volcanoes getting updated today. Out of the 36 to 40 that are active and erupting. Having a look at satellite imagery, we do have Tropical Cyclone 22. who is still moving through the West Atlantic, heading northward. Big system swept across Ontario last night, bringing rain and snow to northern parts. Low pressure system off the coast of California, set to bring in some more rain. Lots of moisture lingering, lingering around in the south as well. Sorry, in the southern hemisphere, Australia, New Zealand. Tropical depression did form, but didn't turn into a tropical cyclone for Myanmar just before they saw that 5.7 earthquake. Now let's have a look at wind gusts here, brought to you by Windy. These are forecast wind gusts for the next seven days here with daily events worldwide. As we've got a big system developing eastern Canada and as well south of Greenland, North Atlantic, long range forecast. And then watch for that to sweep into Europe. And as well, very windy conditions through the Mediterranean and the Atlantic coast. Now let's get to world weather brought to you by windy.com. Showing precipitation models. Big low here on eastern Canada. And as well, some intense systems moving through the Atlantic provinces and northern BC. Strong winds, heavy snow for Alaska. And that long-range forecast, Colorado low moves in, possibly joining forces with a Hudson low, which is a very cold low. As you can see, it's got nothing but snow wrapped all around it. And then another Colorado low develops in the long range. And then grinding its way eastward through the Atlantic provinces yet again, as you've got some extreme weather events on your doorstep the next seven days. Big low here, still grinding north of the Mediterranean. And as well, big low over Ireland. Watch for this system to gain some strength and energy as it moves northeastward. And then a lingering low off the coast of West Africa. Looks like it's trying to move northeastward, but we'll see in the long range. Now overlooking Australia, New Zealand, Southeast Asia. No major typhoons or cyclones developing in the long range, but lingering low pressure system over Australia. Set to bring in daily evaporation rains and some pretty strong systems and thunderstorms in the long range for South Australia. And then overlooking North Pacific, multiple low pressure systems affecting BC and Alaska for the last couple weeks, and it will continue. And it will be bringing some very cold temperatures with it. Big polar high 
pressure building in. And as well, monstrous low here developing for the long range forecast. Heads up, Alaska. Heavy snow on its way in enormous amounts. Now let's just have a quick look at here at our upper level winds illustrating our polar vortex as it is spinning around right now and gaining strength for winter 2023. Southern Hemisphere calming down compared to what it was a couple weeks ago. Just amazing stuff how it all just flip-flops and now we're into winter and Australia's into summer. Amazing planet, amazing sun, and amazing informative information here shared with daily events worldwide. And an amazing family watching. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Much love. Stay safe and healthy. Stay aware and prepared. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.